because it's time to it's time to have vision and get really clear of where we're going. Did you get everything set up? You get set up. Yeah, yeah. We're going we're going live on YouTube right now. So you know how YouTube always uh there we go. It's up. Okay. You need two laptops. You can do YouTube on one and, and Facebook on this one and then just mute the other one, you know. You know how simple I am, Artemis. <laughs> we're gonna create I like, I like to take the complex and make it simple. That's that's how I've been successful. But yeah, you're right. Um, multiple screens. I, I always envy uh, folks like you that have these all these different screens, like uh, the Starship. <laughs> yeah, baby. I'm not there yet. Yeah. Well, welcome, family. I'm so happy to be here. I am super stoked. I'm excited. Uncle Nolly is actually sitting down today for story time. Let me adjust my camera. I don't want you guys. To here, let me see. There we go. I think that's, is that a little better? Yeah, I think that's better. That is better. So, um, hey, I love you guys. I'm so happy that you uh, meandered, made it into the room. Uh, I can see more and more people logging on, jumping on. What I've, what I've been promising to share with you guys, um, actually started promising this about six months ago, is uh, how I launched my $70,000 a month business. Uh, very, very, uh, very, very interesting how I did this. And so that's what I'm going to be sharing with you today. Um, and, you know, what you have to understand is that when Artemis and I got together and started Nolly Success Coaching, um, you know, we had the idea that we want to teach you everything that we know. And I know that's a tall order, but that's actually the vision that we have. And you're talking about, um, you know, I started at the age of 22. By the way, um, I just listed a gal's house. I should say my wife listed it because Josie, Josie got her first listing. Hey, Art Artemis got his first closing. What's up, Artemis? Tell us about it. Come on now. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Great referral from a beautiful family in San Francisco moving here to Austin, Texas, because it's getting a little crazy in California. So everyone's coming to Texas. I don't know why, but um, yeah, everyone's, it's, it, there's a, it's an exodus happening. So found a beautiful home for them and they'll be moving here next month. Uh, yeah. Brand new, new construction from Paradisa. Nice. Nice. And, and your, your first deal, I got to say my, my first deal, you know, I, I talk about how I took 21 listings in my first 74 days in real estate, um, because I had joined a, a company that I was there. I was with them for 74 days till I figured I could make money more money somewhere else. And um, uh, my deals, I was, I was listing homes for like 40, 50,000. <laughs> so here's Artemis's first deal was almost half a million dollars. I'm like, man, this guy's starting off right. I like it. I like it. So let me, uh, before we get into to our, our topic today, I'm going to share my screen. Um, let me, let me see if it will let me do this. Cause I just, I just upgraded. Uh, Oh, I see what it's doing. Hold on. Let me let me do something different here. Uh, uh, I changed it to where only one person could share their screen at a time. And so let me just let me change that back because you don't have your screen shared though, right, Artemis? Here, I, I got it. I got it. Let me see if it'll let me now. Uh, here we go. Bear with me, guys. I want to remind I, uh, all the new people here that if you're new to Nolly Success Coaching, make sure you go to our units and do units number one, two, and three. And then we're going to we're gonna kind of give you a theme of, of foundations and, and, and upgrades in your success mastery for your business. So bear with Nolly while he is working the tech. That's oh, it's, not gonna, it's not going to let me share my screen. Oh, here we go. I got it. I got it. Um, yeah, I up, upgraded my um, operating system. That's a long story. I don't want to bore you guys with that one, but um, Uncle Nolly hadn't done his taxes. So there I was last night doing my taxes. Well, the TurboTax software, yeah, I do my own taxes. I, you know, I'm a Lord. What, 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 what can I say? <laughs> I'm a steel Lord. I do my own taxes. Anyway, so, and I own like, I own uh, three different companies. I have all these multiple streams of income. So I probably would drive a tax person crazy with the way I run my operation. Anyway, they made me op, uh, download some new operating system. So my, I'm, I'm almost like I have a new computer today. But this is what I want to talk about. My 70K a month side business. 
side business. And um, the reason I was telling you guys, the reason why I want to share this kind of stuff with you is because Artemis and I had made a made a commitment to God and to you that we want to share with you everything that we know. And you're talking about, you know, I was 22 years old when I first became an entrepreneur. Um, I've been working from home as an as a business person for 28 years. And um, I know Artemis is uh, just like me. He's got tens of thousands of hours of training. And so it's a tall order to teach you guys everything that we know. But when when there's something that I that, that we know, we want to bring it to you. And my endeavor is that every single time that we sit down together as a family, I want to bring you one thing that you can implement and become more successful in your business. So this this thing that I'm going to share with you today is not really to brag on uh, my ability to generate wealth and income, which is very astounding, by the way. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I, I give all glory and, and praise to God Almighty because he's the one. He said, scripture says he, uh, it is God who gives us the power to get wealth. And so I give him all the glory and praise for that. Um, it is a gift. And so I don't take it lightly. So uh, uh, again, we have free coaching here. If you're not a member of Knowledge Success Coaching, you stumbled across this on YouTube or maybe somewhere else. Somebody invited you to this. Join us here at Knowledge Success Coaching. You know, we do a weekly group coaching uh, with me and Artemis, members only Facebook group. We have a library of coaching trainings and we, we archive these on our group. Um, you get an accountability partner. Uh, we have a training series. And again, we wanted to, to uh, have different, when we first started, we had different ideas on pricing for this. And then the Holy Spirit said, let's make it free. It's Christ centered, hundred percent free coaching. You just go to nolly.com and you can join right there at nolly.com. So, uh, and, and, and what, one of the things that uh, Artemis and I lo love to do, Artemis Prime and me, we love to do these Zoom calls. So let's talk about this. My 70K, um, I'm going to stop my screen sharing and hold on a second. Here we go again. What is this thing doing? Cancel. Okay. You guys can still see. Okay, here we go. Stop share. There we go. So, um, it's like I have a new P, uh, a new Mac, guys. I, you know, bear with me here, but it's it's fun. It's, hey, I'm with my family, so I don't have to apologize for you guys. All right, so let's talk about this. So we we're going to kind of pick up the story when um, you know I was on a Zoom call yesterday, and the gal asked me. Um, it was a, a podcast. She asked me, "How did you get in real estate?" I said, well, I went broke. <laughs> That'll get you in, the, in, in, in the doing something quick. It was like, I, I need money. And, uh, you know, I, I was in the music business, went broke. Um, you know, I, do, I share that a lot. I share my story about that. And you guys may know the story. Um, and then uh, I got in the real estate business and I did very, very well. God really, really blessed it. And, and remember, a lot of what I teach and what Artemis and I teach is what we call quantum physics. See, quantum physics is the realm where God lives. Okay, quantum physics is that realm where God lives, and um, in in the quantum physics realm, that's where you get into miracles. See, your life, your life can be one miracle after another. You know, I was talking to a gentleman not long ago, and he was like, "Man, it seems like there's a black cloud that follows me." I said, "Well, you know, you can turn that around when you when you change the way you think, when you change the mind." When you reprogram your mind, because many of us have allowed our minds to be programmed, but when you can change that around and so that every single uh, uh, every single experience is like a miracle, even when so-called bad things happen, you're looking for the silver lining because, you know, uh, like like my wife got a screw in her tire. OK, so immediately I'm thinking, who does God want me to meet? OK, when I go get this tire fixed now, yeah, it's an inconvenience. I get that. But when I go get this tire fixed, God must have somebody for me to meet for this to happen. So I'm always on the lookout for miracles, for opportunities, because I know that my steps are ordered by the Lord. And so are yours. So are yours. So I got into real estate and I did very well. I took over a thousand listings during my first 10 years in the business. And I got a tap on the shoulder around 2014. By the way, the guy that was running my business from 2009 to about 2014, uh, we did hundreds and hundreds of transactions together. His name is Hollis Dean, and he's with me. He, now he uh, recently joined us at Mentorship Masters. 
Took him a year. He was holding out. He was like, okay, I'm going to see what Nolly's doing. But he couldn't stay on the outskirts too long. He's now one of our coaches, um, you know, at uh, here at uh, uh, what we call Quantum 10X Coaching. He couldn't stay on the out, uh, outskirts too long. But he actually ran my operation uh, for many years while I was out teaching, training, and uh, sharing, you know, just speaking. I love to teach. Okay, it's what God put within me. It's just what I love to do. And so um, what would happen is I would go in the office maybe once a month. Okay, Hollis would run the operation and then he would uh, I would work about three hours a week in real estate. And then I would be out gallivanting around and teaching people how to be successful. That's when I wrote uh, this book right here took some time off to write that people are like, man, when do you have time to write books? Well, you know, I'm a highly leveraged individual. I have a lot of people that work with me and for me. And I, you know, essentially I'm able to gain more of my day by hiring people. You know, people talk about automation. Uh, the number one way you can automate is to hire. Let me say it again. The number one way to automate is to hire. Because when you when you hire, guess what? It's automated. It gets done <laughs> and you don't have to do it. So I wrote this book in 2015 um, because I had the time um, to to actually do that. Well, let me let me share with you what happened. So after I'd taken over a thousand listings, did very, very well uh, by my third year in, in, in real estate, I was generating over a half a million in GCI commission. Um, and then you go 10 years in, I was doing very, very, very well. So I had, I just came off a year where I did 153 deals, 153 transactions. So I got the idea that I wanted to take 153 and I wanted to grow that to uh, 400 deals a year. Okay. 400 deals a year. So by the way, today's story time, guys, this is, this is uncle Nolly sitting down with you. I'm going to share my story because it's going to help some of you, maybe not all of you, but it's going to help some of you guys to uh, shorten your learning curve. See, that's one of the big things that we're about. You can take 10 years to learn this stuff, or you could take, you know, you can learn it in 30 days. <laughs> I like the fast track, and that's what I'm trying to share with you today. So, so um, we basically, we were doing so well that I said, man, I'm going to do 400 deals a year. And I had friends that were doing 1,000 deals a year. So my little old 400 deals a year was really nothing. I put a spreadsheet together, a phenomenal spreadsheet. And, you know, with my personality profile, we call it a Lord profile um, in, in, in Wealth Dynamics, which Artemis teaches. Uh, he's a consultant in, in Wealth Dynamics. Um, you know, I'm very good at duplication. That's my specialty. So if I can sell 10 houses, I can sell 1,000. Once you've once I've mastered how to do that, OK, and I always teach you guys and Artemis and I both teach you that you want to always operate, run your business around your wealth dynamic profile. You want to run your operation around your personality profile. If you do that, listen to me now. If you do that, you will have one heck of a good time. <laughs> you will have a phenomenal time in this business and you'll have fun. It won't be hard. You won't be struggling. It won't be, you know, let, let me, let me, let me share you this. Do you know how difficult it would be to dig uh, a, 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 a trench with, with a spoon? Just imagine that, you know, it's all about having the right tools, but now you get you a backhoe. How easy it, is it to dig that ditch? You got three scoops and you're done, right? So it's all about having the right tools tools right so when god equipped when god brought you in this realm he equipped you with certain tools and what you want to do is you want to maximize your experience in this thing we call life by utilizing the tools that god has given you okay and not trying to do something that's outside of your wheelhouse that's why it's so important for you to in my opinion um, it was very important for me to have a flow consultation with artemis um and 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 just just to learn how to how to cut years off of, of me trying hard. See, life doesn't have to be hard work. So there I was with my 400 deals and my projection, my goals, and I guarantee you we would have done 400 or 450 or 500. You know, I like to make a plan and over deliver. I don't like to not reach my goals. <laughs> so um, 
so right around, so I, basically what happened was I hired my, my team um, and, and I'm one of those guys that has mastered the ability to run a, a large volume business with a small team. So you're talking about doing 400 deals with two agents and two admin people. Okay. When you have the right systems in place, that's the way you can operate. You can have, you can do 400 deals a year with a staff of four people. Okay. And that's how I operate. That's, that's the, the genius that I have. I, I can't take credit for it because I was born with it. Um, so I hired uh, this guy named Nirav Patel and I hired another gal. And so one was going to uh, run my North, uh, 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 North office, if you will. And the other one was going to run my South office. And then I would just oversee the operation. I was the marketing guy, the branding guy, the lead generator. Okay. The guy out there generating the leads. And I had this whole elaborate system. In fact, it's still the baseline of the system I use today. Um, let me just, I realize when I turn away from the mic, you guys can't hear me well, but so this is kind of the system that I created where we had uh, an outside person an inside person, and we had a team for the different, uh, you know, things that we were doing and everybody knew what their position was. My job has always been to do as little as possible. <laughs> Let me say it again. On my team, I always had a goal and an endeavor to be the dumbest guy on the team. What do I mean by that? Well, I, I wanted my team members to be much smarter than me in the areas of their expertise. So somebody would call me, they'd say, hey, Nolly, uh, somehow they get my, my cell number. They call me, he said, man, you got a new listing over here on South First Street. I said, oh, okay, uh, tell me about it. They said, well, it's your listing. I said, well, I, I, you know, because I, I didn't know anything about any listings that I had. You know, my my job, if you look at it and by the way, um, there's no shame in being a dummy. OK, I, I specialize at it. Um, I'm very ignorant about most things, but I'm really smart about some, the things that 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 can make that can make you billions. So if you look at this, uh, for example, my short sale team. OK, watch this. Look at look at the short sale team. Now, my the the, the things that I do are the things that are not highlighted. OK, now, those of you that are that are uh, that, that can see that, how many things am I actually doing? OK, on a short sale. OK, if you notice, I'm doing this one, this one and that one. OK, so what I do is I generate the prospect. I do an initial CMA and then I draft the disbursement instructions to tell the title company where to send my money. That's it. I don't do anything else on a short sale. I don't even talk to the to prospect. When 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 I when I have a short sale, um, in nine times out of ten, I never talk to the seller. Okay, and by the time that the anyway, it's it it's a systems thing. So the point is that at this point, I had decided I was going to take this genius and do four hundred deals. Had my team set up. We we rented an office space um, at at our main uh, uh, franchise office. And I had everything. I painted the walls. I got a big TV up on, on the wall. I did everything. And um, we were rocking. I mean, we were doing about 10 deals a week um, and, and we were doing it. And I heard the still small voice. Uh, one day I was, came home and the, and the Holy Spirit told me, he said, we're not doing that. I said, what do you mean we're not doing that? We're not doing what? What you talking about? He said, we're not doing that. We're not doing 400 deals. We're going to we're going to go on the road and we're going to teach. And I said, no, nah, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm doing 400 deals. <laughs> and uh, so this went on for about um, several weeks. And as you'll notice, like in, in Acts chapter nine, you know, Saul was was minding his own business. He was about his business and the Holy Spirit knocked him off. Uh, I think he was, was he riding a, a donkey? He knocked him off his ass, put it that way. Uh, and, and he was riding a donkey, got him knocked off and said, this is what you're going to be doing from now on. He was like, well, what's going on? You know, by the way, let me just say this because I think you guys are family. I can share this kind of stuff with you. I have never pursued God. You know, people think of me, they say, man, you're very religious. I don't see, I don't really think of myself as a religious person because I don't like religion. Let me say it again. I don't like religion never have now those of you that like religion you know you know i pray for you power to you yeah you know, i'm not trying to isolate 
but I don't like religion. I've never have liked religion. Um, and I, but I love Jesus, <laughs> you know? Uh, and I remember very distinctly when God first called me. Um, and that's the reason I freely talk this way is because God called me. I didn't, you know, I didn't, I didn't seek him. He called me. So I'm like, okay, you know what you're getting, you know? Uh, so he, he, he pursued me and I, I didn't want anything to do with God. I wanted nothing to do with God. So those of you, and I hear from you guys very often, you're like, man, I don't like God. I'm mad at God. I'm angry with God. I, I feel you. I understand where you're coming from because I was that way for many years. I don't feel that way anymore. Um, but I can say that I, I, I was very strongly opposed to God. And I told him, leave me alone. I don't know why you keep following me. Stop pursuing me. Go mess with somebody else. Leave me alone. And that went on. I mean, that doesn't go very well. You keep trying that. See where that gets you. So I had the same experience when I was trying when I when I was uh, building this group of uh, to where we would do 400 deals and the Holy Spirit prompted me to close that down. And now this was an act of faith because that business would have generated for us one hundred thousand a month in revenue. And God specifically told me, you're going to go out and teach my people. I've got children that are that are my my people perish for lack of knowledge and your job the reason why i put you on earth was not to become you know to make millions selling real estate although that's not a bad thing to do i now have you here for a different purpose and so that's that was very difficult for me to do guys and what i want to encourage you is um when you when you know that there's something that you are called to do don't don't worry about it okay don't worry about it. Don't stress over it like I did. Just do. Just do what the master calls you to do and you'll succeed. See, it's very important to listen to that voice, that still small voice, and do whatever it is. For many of you, it's to sell more houses, sell more real estate. For many of you, it's to do better at whatever career, whatever profession, whatever job you do. It's to be the best that you, that, that you can be. But one day, one day, you might get called into leadership. And um, it's just it, it's you can either avoid the call and be miserable or you can follow the call and live a life of, of bliss. OK, now here was the problem. I didn't know where I was going to be able to make money because I like making money. You know, let, let me let me let me let me hear you if you like making money. I mean, raise your hand if you like making money. Let me see if I got any hand. Raised. I got some people raising their hand. OK, I, I like that. I like making money. I like helping people, too. But in reality, Uncle Nolly likes him some money. I, I, I check my bank account every day and I'm like, OK, now I don't I know where my I, I know where my source comes from. But I do. <laughs> I see you guys raising your hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, OK, let's get to the money. We're going to get to the money in a minute. So so um, so. Basically, I, I was obedient. But I did not know how you could make money as a speaker, as a trainer. I didn't I'd, I'd never gotten paid to do that. And uh, so my so I sent out an email and I sent it out. My very first person that responded was a guy named Vicky Bartholomew. Now, back then, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to be real with you guys because I feel like I can be. Um, I was with Keller Williams. Now, I was with I was recruited to Keller Williams by Gary Keller. Beautiful company. Love Gary Keller to this day. Love a lot of my colleagues and friends at the company. And um, so I sent it out because Keller Williams has like 800 offices. So I said, well, heck, I can just go speak from office to office and somehow maybe they'll just pay me to come speak. So the ver very first person that called me was Vicki Bartholomew. She had an office in, I think it was in Kate, Pearland. I think it was Pearland. Um, and she was like, hey, we want you to come and be a speaker. I was like, okay, well, here's my speaker fee. She was like, oh, we don't have a budget. I was like, okay, well, I'm not going to be speaking. And if we don't have no budget, you know, Uncle Nolly ain't going, you know, back then I didn't know anything about working, you know, for, for, well, I knew about working for free, but I was trying to now, you know, I had I, basically, I disbanded my real estate practice guys. I mean, this is big faith. We're talking big faith here. Um, you know, I didn't, I didn't hang up my license, but I disbanded. I, I, I let all my staff go. And because now, it, there's, there's nothing wrong with riding two horses. I had a teacher one time. He said, Nolly, it's, t it's difficult to ride two horses, um, you know, but some people can do it. You know, Tom, Tom could probably get away with it. He's probably a trickster on those horses now. But for me, I'm a, I'm a Lord and a Lord is very focused. So a Lord has to, a Lord basically focuses on a one thing and just man masters it becomes a 
becomes, <laughs> I'm talking about, you ain't nothing, never seen nothing like it with a Lord focused on something. So for me, it was not in my wheelhouse. Now, somebody like Artemis, because of his personality profile, he can do two or three things with a lot of leverage and do those very well. Um, I don't have that skill. So uh, basically, I hung up the phone. This gal, I said, she didn't have a budget. I said, no, we're not going to, we, we, we can't, Uncle Nolly needs money. And so I, I went and told Josie, I was like, man, can you believe this? Uh, I still remember I walked over to the kitchen. I said, can you believe this? They want me to come speak for like three hours and they don't want to pay me, not even gas money or nothing. And I just, I was just shaking my head. She said, well, did you accept the the, the speaking engagement? I was like, I didn't accept, accept no sp speaking engagement. For, they don't want to pay me. There's no budget. She said, call them back and tell them you'll do it. I said, Josie, did you hear what I'm saying? They're not going to pay us. <laughs> she said, you pick up the phone right now call that lady back and accept. And I was like, okay, you know, <laughs> you know, it, it's like when Joe, boy, when, when, when Josie puts the hammer down, boy, you forget it. it you, you, you're going, you're going to follow directions. So that's what I did. I was like, I don't know why I'm doing this, but I said, okay, Vicki, I'll come out. And so I did, I went out, I spoke and I had a little bitty product that I was selling uh, that had like, it had like videos and I, I didn't know what I was doing. I would just slap a bunch of stuff together. I was like, I got five videos and I got this and I got this other little thing over here and I got this. And so I had this old, big old package of stuff that I would, that I would offer to people for 250 bucks. Okay. For $250. And so I remember that day, uh, there was, there was a lot of people that came out and we walked out of there with like, we sold a lot of packages we made like 12,000 bucks, something like that, 12 grand. And I was like, wow, this speaking thing ain't bad, boy. This is not, you know, I, I can kind of feel that. That's, that's like what I make on selling the house. And I only spoke for three hours. Well, um, this little book right here, uh, this is the thing that people kept getting stuck on. Because I had this package which I was throwing everything at them. Like, I, I can do this and that. And people were getting confused. It was like, man, you got too much stuff that you're, like I was offering all these things to people. And the big one was, you know, my book called Consider His Soul. This is a book that I wrote for sellers that are thinking about selling their home. And the reason that I wrote it was because I got tired of repeating myself. They'd be like, okay, well, um, how do we prepare the house for sale again? And what do we need to do? What's our checklist for, for, for staging and all these questions that they can. And then when we come to close that, or we're, we get an offer and they're like, okay, could you walk me through the offer? Well, my book does it in chapter seven. It walks them step by step through the offer. This is how you're going to counter the offer or accept or whatever. So this was like kind of like a, an assistant, if you will, that would, I would leave it with the homeowner. And then the homeowner basically had me left behind. So all these questions that they kept, because what I found is that at the listing appointment, they would only remember like 15% of what, um, of what I would tell them. And then they kept calling me with all these questions. I was like, man, I'm trying to be a Lord over here and I'm trying to, 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 to get more business and you're bogging me down with all that. So I created this as a companion piece. And I just, when they call me, I say, oh, that's in chapter four. Oh yeah, that's right. We got the book. Okay. Nolly, we'll get back to you if we have any questions. And this, be, I mean, this is invaluable. So this is one of the things that I threw in that package for $250. And so, um, so it was basically a white label. So basically, you know, anybody could take the book, you know, and basically make it their own, right? You know, you, you make your own version. The guts of it are the same. And then on the back of the book, you have a service directory where each of these trades pays you a hundred bucks a piece. So the license for the book is free. It doesn't cost you a dime. So that was one of the, just one of the things in this big old giant package that I was given, given to people. Um, and so, the so so basically whenever i would get to talking about the book everybody would stop me they say wait a minute wait a minute what is that again could you go back and the back the book was just a free bonus it was just an extra add-on that i was just throwing in with my training you know and they were like tell us about that and that's all they want to talk about and this happened for like a like several different engagements that i went and spoke at and I was like, man, they don't care anything about all my other training or anything. They just want to know about this book. So here's what I did. I'm, I'm, being, I'm just being real. I've never shared this with anybody. I mean, I've shared it with privately, but not with my family like you guys. 
So here's what I did. I took the book that I had the book, videos, everything all in this package for $249. And I took the book. It was a free bonus. I took it out of that. And all by itself, I, I made this 600 bucks. Okay. $600. Now it's a thousand. But back then it was like $600 just for the license of the book. And then if you wanted the videos and all the other stuff, that was an extra, that was $249 still, but the book was $600. Well, I got to tell you, pay attention now. My sales tripled just by, just by tripling the price of every. So now you had to pay $1,000 to get everything instead of $250. Okay. But people understood the offer better. And so, you know, if, if there's a lot of little lessons that you can get from this chat that we're having this little sit down. But one of the things I want you to get from this is that when people don't understand your value proposition, you could be throwing them the moon and just wondering, why aren't they biting? I'm giving them everything. Well, maybe it's because you're giving them everything. They don't understand. And when I tripled my prices, agents stood in line to buy. They stood in line to buy. Uh, just by me tripling my price. Okay. I can't understand it, but that's how you guys are. I mean, I'm just going to tell you how you guys are. Right. So that's what I did. And, and here was my formula. This is how I, how I had now, mind you, when I got into, um, speaking, I didn't have a clue how I was going to make money as a speaker. And, and so that's the other message that I want you to understand is that when God calls you to something, I'm not saying you have to give up what you're doing, because I, I think most people, God wouldn't call them to do that. Probably. I, I don't know. I mean, he's different with everybody. But it, the, the reality is, I know Artemis got into real estate very recently and he left a uh, something that was very lucrative. He was uh, with Prime My Body. He was one of the top uh, leaders in the company, really. Uh, he was the number two recruiter in the company nationwide. For a while and so it was a big decision for him to say wait a minute i'm going to take all this tens of thousands of of hours of knowledge that i have in these fields and i'm going to focus it on real estate and helping realtors uh, succeed it was a big 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 roll of the dice for him but see when god calls you there's no rolling of the dice guys see when when god where god guides god provides okay god has beholden himself to provide for you. Just think about this for a minute. You have a child. I know Artemis has two lovely boys. Let's say you, you have children. Um, and even if you don't play along with me, right? So you've got a child. Now, by the very fact that you had that child, you're beholden to provide for that child. You have to become the provider for that child because you had the kid. Well, by the very fact that God created you, he fashioned you, he gave you a purpose. It is his responsibility to take care of you. It's not your responsibility to take care of yourself. Okay. Now you got to do the things that God calls you to do, but ultimately I, and I tell God every day, God, you promised, man, what's up? Let's, let's go. Where's my deals? Bring on my prospect. I expect, I come boldly to the throne of God and I expect, I'm like, line them up, God, where are they at? Where's my people? You know, I'm looking for them. Why? Because he, he, he called me to this. So, you know, he, he's got to provide. Okay. Anytime you create anything, you've got to, you go get you a little pet. You're going to have to provide for that pet. It's not going to provide for itself. That's God's job. Right. So little by little, I started learning how realtors are, how you guys act, how you react, um, what, what makes you take action. And here was how I ended up with this 70 K business. Um, and let me see, let me see if there's any, I see a lot of, the chat is going nuts. Um, that's me. That's me chatting. I'm, oh, is that you? I'm hey, coding. Fallon raised his hand. Somebody raised it. Uh, I got a cup. Yeah, Fallon, oh. an iPhone. I, I reached out to him, but I didn't hear back from him. So. Okay, cool. So let me, let me do this. I had some, okay, here we go. So y'all know Uncle Nolly surrounds himself by white, with, with whiteboards. I got me another one right here. Um, hopefully you guys are, are, are tracking with me on this because this is this is something that Artemis has has challenged me. Uh, it's hard for me to it's not hard for me to do this. Let me let me rephrase that. Cancel clear. Um, it's easy for me to do this with you guys because I love you and your family. 
it has not always been easy for me to share my innermost thoughts and feelings uh, and, and to go into vulnerable places or to share with you the behind the scenes things that I do because Lords, we don't do that, you know, and um, you know, uh, I'm going to leave a few minutes for Artemis to kind of sh share with you what I'm talking about. I said, well, why does this guy keep, keep calling himself a Lord? Uh, so Artemis will share that with you in a minute. So you'll understand when you understand your personality profile, um, it's, 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 it's a bit difficult for us to go in and, um, and be vulnerable. Okay. But I'm doing it with you guys because I love you. And I want, I want you to know, I mean, I'm even telling you, I tripled my prices and y'all just went all over, went nuts for it. So that's the way you guys are. It's okay. It's all right. It, it, it didn't hurt my feelings. So, so here, here was my ultimate formula. And by the way, when I would go out, um, I would notice little things like, okay, when I said this, the audience, you know, liked it. Or when I said that they liked it and they liked this and they didn't like that. They didn't like this part of it. And when I implemented this, it made them uh, purchase better. And, and I always like to do stuff for free. That's the reason why, even if I'm going to sell something like this for a thousand dollars or, or, or 900 bucks or whatever, I'm going to create a way, I'm going to try to create a way where you guys can offset the cost. Like here, you got the service directory. So what people do is they have the, this mortgage person pay $300. And then each of these service trades, like handyman, carpet cleaner, home inspector, a moving service, house cleaner, or painter. So whenever I go on a listing appointment, guess what? I got my, I'm taking my painter along with me. I'm taking my mover along with me. I'm taking my home inspector with me. And I'm taking my, my lender with me, right? They, now they pay me to, to tag along. It ain't free, right? So they're, so they're paying me. A um, hundred bucks a year for these spots and 300 for this spot. So that's 900 bucks a year, which pays for the printing of the book because they cost about three bucks um, to print. So now I can print, um, I can print 30 cop uh, or I can print 300 copies a year for free, right? Because they're paying for it. So, so that's just uh, the kind of the system I came up with. And here's the math on it, right? Let me show you. So what I figured out was I could go to three, what we call market centers. And I had, and what I would tell them is when I go out to the market center, I want to have no less than a hundred people. I want to have a hundred people to the event. Okay. So if I had a hundred people, um, guess what percentage of people would purchase the toolkit? Let me see. Let me see if you guys can get it. What percentage of people would purchase of, of that group? Crystal says 30, Bradford says 10, uh, Joanna says 20, uh, Smart Locate Real Estate Group says 5%, uh, Reza says 3%, Dana says 30%, Andre 25, Mary 40, Sonia says 75%. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Peterson, <laughs> Peterson says 10%. <laughs> And one of you guys says 50, Rosemary says 60. Okay, I love you guys. That's great. So let me share with you what would happen. So when I first went out, I sucked. <laughs> you talk about not being good. I, I wasn't great. Okay, I sucked. Um, and so little by little, so when I first went out, I think I got, <laughs> I didn't even know how to do a pitch and offer a presenter, nothing like that. And so um, I think I did like maybe 10%. Little by little, after about six months of going out steadily, I was at 15%. And then um, when I started making it to where you had a back a directory, and then I came up with a whole system with like, um, I have forms and scripts where you can call your vendors. I have a whole training series on how to get your vendors, what order form to send them. I, I, when I put that whole system together and just a couple of other things that I implemented, eventually I got to a solid, solid 30%. Okay. Now I never went over 30%, but I got to a solid 30%. Now maybe I could have gotten better and, and went above that. And by the way, I think many of you guys, if you have a, a blaze, more of a blaze type genius, you'll crush it, man. Uh, see, I'm not even really supposed to be a public speaker because I'm a Lord. I'm just being obedient to the call that God gave me. Although I, I'm not, I mean, you know, it, it, it's not, it's not about being the best guys. You know, so many people, they think that, you know, the, the, the company that makes the, the best hamburger or the best, um, you know, the best coffee or the best, uh, uh, you know, soda wins. But that's not it. 
when you read um, in this book right here, the 22 Immutable Laws of Marketing, um, Al Reeves and Jack Trout did a lot. This is a research project. And they basically show you how some of the brands that are not the best actually are winning. Like McDonald's doesn't make the best burger, but they sure sell the pants off of, off, off, off many others. Um, so it's not about being the best. It's about being obedient okay, to the call that God has on your life. So I got to a solid 30%. So when I went and I had a uh, hundred people in the room, how many of those packages would I sell? The 30, right? So here's what I would do. I would do three events per month. And I say would do, cause I don't do this anymore, but I would do three events a month. Okay. Three events a month. And on the website, my toolkit was 997. That's at uh, successwithlistings.com. You can go there and you can get it for $9.97. But if you're at the event, we get it, it's $6.97. Okay, $300 off at the event. Hey guys, it's at the event only. So you got to buy it today. You get a 30 day money back guarantee. So if it sucks, you don't like it, you're, you know, you, it didn't do good for you. Well, you just test drive it for 30 days. If it doesn't do good, you know, we, we give your money back. No questions asked. So somebody do the math for me. If I was doing 697 and I did 30 per event, how much was I making per event? Somebody do that math for me. See, see how good you guys are at math. So these are the stats while you guys are doing the math. Um, my goal was to speak at three market centers. Uh, I made it a, 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 a um, they had to have at least 100 people in the room. And the way they did that was they would get like several offices together and they do like a kind of a group event, two or three offices. Uh, most of these offices had four or 500 agents, three, two, 300 agents anyway. Um, and 30% uh, of the room would buy. That means they'd be, they, I'd sell 30 kits. Now my whole, the whole goal wasn't just to sell kits, but that was how, you know, the missionary got paid, you know what I'm saying? So I would drop a ton of knowledge and then I would say, hey, by the way, if you guys want this, here it is. Um, so, okay, who did the math for me? 20,910 bucks. All right, you guys are good. Okay. Now, in addition, in addition, so that's $20,910 per event. Okay. And I would speak for three hours. Okay, so how much was I making per hour? <laughs> you can do the math on that. So, so that's 20910 uh, $20, bucks in event. Now, in addition to that, I had a product that was a five-hour video series that we sold for $297 online, but we made it $197 at the event. $197. So we sold tons of those. Tons. Okay. Um, now, I did three events. So how much would I make uh, in three events? You guys, oh, you, somebody already did the math for me. 60, yeah, she already did, okay, good. All right, Crystal's one step ahead. You guys are good, you guys are, Crystal and uh, Riza is already, okay. So that was $62,730, okay, that I would make from doing, uh, from doing three events per month. Okay, that, that, that's basically the formula, guys. A lot of people, uh, they've asked me to see behind the curtain, but I've never shared this stuff with you guys before. Artemis has challenged me to become more transparent about the things that I do. And so I'm trying, to, I'm, I'm trying that out for size. Um, and so, um, you know, and, and, and it wasn't easy. You, you know, getting up there and running my mouth for three hours and making 62,000. Now, granted, I'd have to I'd travel. You know, you got travel time, which I love anyway. But guess what? All my travel expenses were 100% paid for. Uh, they, they paid my plane ticket. So what we would do is we get sponsored. That's a whole other thing. Um, I teach people how to do this now. But in our mentorship master's group, we have a, a group of agents in that group that is learning how to do this if this is something you want to do. But I'm just sharing with you, this is what I did. So I made the additional 10000 um, we'd sell at least say about 50 to a hundred of these. So we'd make about 10 to 20 K, uh, on this product. Okay. Um, and so we were making about 70 to 80 K per month. 
Okay. And that's working three hours a week because I would, it would only, I would only do one event a week and, I, and I'd have one week off. Okay. So that's nine hours that I would work, uh, nine hours that I'd work a month and I'd make what, what many people don't make in a year. I make work nine hours a month. This is, and, and uh, this is 70 to 80. This is what I call my $70,000 a month side business. Why? Because it did it on the side. What was I doing full time? Having fun. That's when Artemis actually found me. Um, I say he found me. God led him to me. And I was in apathy because I was like, man, I was good. I was like, I didn't need anything. And um, but God had called me to a bigger mission than just going out and speaking to a few market centers here and there. God had called me to a much bigger mission. In fact, um, this is what I kept doing up until I got a, a, a greater call, which is where I'm at now running the mentorship masters group. Um, I actually gave up just like I gave up uh, my, my big real estate uh, salary where I was doing 150 deals a year. I was going to do 400 deals a year and making millions doing that. I gave that up for the sake of God wanted me to be focused on a specific. So then I gave this all this up, this 70 to 80,000 a month. I gave it up years, a couple years ago um, when I created mentorship masters. Okay. Because I found something where I could actually be um, where, where I would actually get paid for helping people succeed. And now I didn't have to charge them for my systems and my tools. Cause it's always been my endeavor to bring the cost of everything that I do down to free anyway. Um, and so with mentorship masters, I, I don't have to worry about this because all of this is taken care of. Uh, it's more of a long play. It's, it's, it's a, it's, it's a long game, but I'm building a group of 40,000 agents. If you can believe this, I'm building a group of 40,000 agents um, across the world, really. Um, and so, you, you know, you might know of somebody that'd be a good fit for mentorship masters. We, we'd be happy to know about it. And, um, but that's how that that's the long and short. It, it's it's an interesting story. But what is the moral of the story? I think there was several nuggets. Um, by the way, why don't you guys share with me what you got out of it? Um, hopefully this is a good story for you guys. What I want you to see, there's a couple things that I wanted to accomplish. And you could be chatting, typing in what you what you got out of it. What I wanted you guys to see is. Um, this is not a brag on me and my ingenuity. I had no clue what I was doing, guys. Did not have a clue. I was woefully ignorant. Didn't have, this is not a genius master plan that Nolly concocted. I didn't know what I was doing. I just knew that I wanted to be obedient because I knew that if I wasn't obedient, I couldn't be happy. And, um, and so I want to encourage you guys. One of the things that I want to do here is encourage you. Don't worry about the end game. Don't worry about the how, the H-O-W. That's in God's court. That's in God's arena. How he's going to, if oh, God would have told me, uh, hey, Nolly, go ahead and get out of real estate and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you $70,000 a month, okay? Then I probably would have been like, okay, cool. S sign me up for that, God. I'm good for that. But see, he didn't let me know what was, because we have to utilize this thing called faith. Let me say it again. We have to utilize this thing called faith. Faith is the activator of the hand of God. Let me say it again. Faith is the activator of the hand of God. So a lot of times when God calls you and he moves you into something, he won't let you see the how of it because you got to have faith. You got to believe. You got to say, you know what? I don't know how you're going to do it, but you created the universe, so I don't care. And then you just have to leave it up to him. Now, also... I want you guys to know that it's not those that work the hardest that make the most money. Okay. You think I was working hard gallivanting around the country? That is not hard work. I, I got news for anybody that thinks that that's hard work. It's not. <laughs> it's a privilege. It's an honor. It is a blessing to get up in front of God's children and share with them the things that God has put on my heart that he wants you, you, know, you guys to know. So it wasn't hard work at all. Um, leverage is another big key. I, I see Bradford said leverage, um, to, to serve your highest purpose. Don't think that you can do all this on your own because you can't. Um, Andre says, I love your testimony and passion to help others. Um, you follow God's purpose for your life. By the way, uh, I can continually, um, reinvent myself. I, I still have prime minister CD. So yeah, there we go. There we go. So Andre is, uh, uh, you know, 
if this is the same Andre from the music business day, what's up, brother? Uh, so it's constantly listening to God's voice. When I started the record label, that was the voice of God, too. One other thing, and I'm going to let Artemis share um, the uh, just real quick about the wealth dynamic uh, thing, mm -hmm. uh, the, the chart. So this is a book that I wrote called The Secret to Knowing God's Will for Your Life. If you don't know it, don't be afraid of God's will. Because a lot of people are like, man, I don't want to be like I used to tell God, I was like, man, I don't I don't want to have to go to Africa and 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 be going through jungles and being a missionary, you know, because we always think that God's going to send us or, or do something with us that we don't want. Right. But in reality, God, God is here to give us our heart's desires. Let me say it again. He will. He gives us the desires of our heart. That's that's what a loving father does. He's not going to he's not going to play you, you know. So the secret to knowing God's will for your life is absolutely free. Uh, we ship it to you. You pay the shipping. Go to nolly.com, Pick up this bad boy because it will help you if you don't know uh, what, what, what God's will for your life is. All right. Um, Artemis, you, you standing by? <laughs> I am here. You know, Crystal Weiss made a really insightful comment. She says, wow, seventy thousand dollars a month extra. All by listening to your wife. Ooh, dang! <laughs> Good thing I got the door shut, boy. I ain't trying to let, <laughs> ain't trying to let that get out. But you know, you have an amazing. Speaking of wealth dynamics and your zone of genius, you know, you being a steel lord with, you know, forty four percent steel, twenty four percent dynamo. I'll explain what that means in a sec. Josie has, you know, three times the tempo genius that you do. So she's way more sensory intelligent. And the timing of things, she she has her she has her ears to the ground. You have your heads in the cloud because of your dynamo strength. So her strength is your weakness. And so when you were making that shift from full time real estate to full time teacher, she could sense that it was time to make that shift because of her exceptional tempo genius. And so she was covering your blind spot. That's that's so that's so key. I never saw that before. Yeah. And uh, that's the reason why we need each other, family. I mean, we can't do this by ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. So there, you know, I was looking at this the scripture from the book of Jeremiah where it says in chapter one, verse five, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. I appointed you as a prophet of nations. And this is to me, why each of us has a zone of genius and we come in not knowing it and we're here to really discover it. And that's part of the journey of self-realization and self-mastery is to discover who we are in our zone of genius and then to discover who we serve and then to align our, our genius with our purpose. Um, and that's a lot a life practice. You know, it's like Nolly and I are still discovering things about ourselves every day. So this is not like... You don't figure this out. You never get this stuff. You're getting it. Um, and it's important that um, to stay teachable, to be willing to learn and to be willing to accept change. And in order you know, to become more teachable in your life and business, you may have to give some things up that you really love. Teachability index is not defined just by reading more books. It's defined also by what are you willing to give up? in your life right now to grow. And so God asked Nolly to give up the 100 deals a year so he could grow into his greater purpose, which is to take the 10 years of knowledge that he accumulated and the 10 years of systems and give it to God's people. So Nolly became more teachable by giving up something. And that's counterintuitive. So much of success in life and business is not intuitive, guys. That's why you need, that's why knowing wealth dynamics having a mentor and having a system and community is really helpful because Nolly and I have your back. Your wife has your back. Your team who loves you unconditionally and is aligned with your purpose has your back. We're all here to, to cover each other and we don't need to be doing everything in our business. That's not how we're designed. God says, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you and I set you apart. So God gave us a specific way of getting into flow and doing what we love based on how we're designed. And it's really based on both science and spirituality. And I love the conversation of spiritual business mastery and science and spirituality, because 2000 years ago, science and spirituality were one. And now we've, we've separated it. Well, now it's time to bring it back together 
and learn God's laws in the body, learns God's laws in nature, learn God's laws in business and bring it all together. And then that's really my goal um, as we teach our, our agents is to make our business a full expression of God and our spirit and our spiritual business mastery is an expression of business and spirit becoming one. And that's why I love wealth dynamics because when you look at the this thing we call the wealth dynamic square, these are just ways in which spirit manifests into form through different cycles of nature and also different types of people. So going back to the scientific foundation of this, every one of us has a different way in which we, we think. We have a thinking dynamic and we have a feeling dynamic. And so the, the easiest way to understand this image is that some people have their heads in the clouds, some people have their feet in the ground. These are the two ways in business we deliver value. So we can deliver value through ideas and innovation, or we can deliver value in business through timing and customer service. And then we have this feeling dynamic over here. So there's two ways in which we increase leverage. One way to leverage is through systems and multiplication. The other way we increase leverage is through magnification. And that's people and sales. So what is wealth in life and business? It's our value times leverage. And that's the first way to look at this wealth dynamic square. Another way of looking at this square is the cycles of life and nature. So we have spring moving into summer, moving into fall, moving into winter. And then at the center, we have spirit or God guiding and directing the whole process. And before you were formed in your mother's womb, I knew you, I set you apart and made you a prophet of nations. Every one of us has this way in which we think and feel according to our design that gives us our calling of how we deliver the best value to the team, to the marketplace, and ultimately to achieving financial freedom. You, you are wired a certain way. And it's also related to neuroscience. So we go back to the wealth dynamic square. Dynamo, everyone has all four geniuses and are using all four. But when you get your profile done, there's two that are more strong than the other two, generally speaking. Everyone's unique. Everyone has a, a dominant way in which they think and a dominant way in which they feel. So dynamo geniuses are frontal lobe dominant in the brain and central nervous system. They, they see the big picture. Blaze geniuses are right brain dominant. They think in people, pictures and feelings. Steel geniuses are left brain dominant, meaning they think in numbers, systems, and they learn how they love how things work. Temporal, tempo geniuses are temporal lobe dominant. They have their ears to the ground, they're, they're sensory intelligent. So when you take the Wealth Dynamics profile, it's asking you 40 questions that's discerning how you are thinking and feeling in your life and business. So that when you know that yourself and you know how you think and feel, you stop doing the things that you're weak at and you start leaning into your zone of genius, which is how you think and feel the things that you're strong at. Dynamos, Nali referred a lot to himself being a Lord and uh, a steel genius can express itself three different ways, mechanic, Lord and accumulator. And these are just labels for divine archetypes of people that were sent here to the earth to do great things through self-awareness, self-mastery and self-expression. So a Lord sits right in the middle with a strong steel dominance, steel genius expression, which is someone who's very good at analyzing systems and numbers and duplicating themselves. So when you're working with the Lord profile, the greatest question a Lord can ask themselves is how can this business be done without me? Which Nolly was intuitively asking himself as he built his real estate business he kept replacing himself over and over and over again because it wasn't fun for him to go out there and do the, the blaze activities and be out in front of people every day. He knew that wasn't fun. So he just started building systems after system after system. And guess what? If you're a blaze genius, check out Mentorship Masters because we have all those systems for you to leverage now. You don't, blaze geniuses, you don't have to build the systems because you're not system smart. And so it's good to partner with a Lord who's more accomplished to have their systems so we can leverage. And that's just a little understanding of what to look for if you're a blaze genius. The blaze geniuses, going back to the Lord, the Lords and the introverts, 
the blazes are the extroverts. So the blaze geniuses ask themselves, how can this be done only with me? Think of Oprah Winfrey. Think of Michael Eisner, the CEO of Disney. He was the only person that could take Disney to multi-billion dollar company. Oprah is not easily accessible. So she, 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 Oprah is a, a blaze star genius. So she achieved the pinnacle of her success by making herself less available and making it only be about her. Whereas steel geniuses need to replace themselves, blaze geniuses make it all about themselves because they're people smart. And this, this system, the wealth, lighthouse, uh, the wealth dynamics is connected also to another beautiful system that I'm just planting seeds in, use, in your consciousness called the wealth lighthouse. And so as we understand who we are in our business and how we can do more of what we love, Nali loves systems and solutions and leverage. I love people and connection and collaboration. Our fortune follows the flow. As I put myself in front of more people and make myself less available, I become more successful and in service to the creator. As Nolly builds more systems and, and makes himself, you know, dupl duplicated and duplicable, he, create, he, he rises in a higher service to the creator. And these four sides, these four zones of genius are connected to nine levels of wealth creation called the Wealth Lighthouse. And this is in unit number five in our Facebook group. So for those of you who are in real estate right now, the right strategy at the wrong time is the wrong strategy. And many of us are doing things out of order in our real estate business. So in order to learn the right steps in the right order, you need to learn who you are, but also where you are in the business cycle. And what I love about all of this is it's all based in the laws of nature. This isn't, this isn't about someone's personality. This isn't the, the challenge with Myers-Briggs and DISC is, is they're great profiling systems, but they're missing spirit and universal language. They had to recreate what Carl Jung brought. You see the origin of DISC and Myers-Briggs and Wealth Dynamics is Carl Jung's work with the I Ching. And the people that created DISC and Myers-Briggs, they made it their own and they left out nature and spirit which was an integral part of the I Ching and what Carl Jung brought to America back in the early 1900s. And what's, what's unique about Wealth Dynamics versus DISC and Myers-Briggs is that it's connected to nature. It's connected to spirit and God's laws. It's also connected to time and the movement of who you are up the lighthouse. And it's a spiral, guys. And so the spiral is the elevation of purpose. It's, it's like when you understand your purpose, like Nali is teaching, like his purpose as a Lord was to duplicate himself until he got to seven figures and then a higher purpose revealed himself because Nali was moving up the lighthouse and listening to God, listening to spirit. And the spirit was, was calling him to keep growing. And that's the movement of the spiral of evolution up each level. And there's actually a map of how to move. And that map is the lighthouse. So, I love studying this stuff. I've been studying it for a year. I'm still studying it. And so this is an introduction today. This don't expect to understand, you know, get this or be able to leverage it in your business yet. But what you can do is just put your toe in the water um, and you can take your, your genius test in unit number four, or you can do a the wealth lighthouse quiz in unit number five and just start to, you know, in your, in your part-time experience, some of these brilliant teachings. And if you want to do a deeper dive, you can do a flow consultation with me and I'll put the link in the Facebook group and uh, we can do a deeper dive into your business. And remember that your wealth equals value times leverage. You either need to increase more value to your marketplace or increase more leverage to create. And so understanding your value and then understanding your leverage and then integrating those, those two principles using wealth dynamics creates clarity and direction. Because one of the things entrepreneurs struggle with is doing the right things in the wrong order because they don't understand who they are or they don't understand where they are in the business cycle and where their next leverage point is. And so learning some of this information over time increases your value through self-awareness and then it will increase your leverage through systems, teams, and, and what Nolly brought into his real estate business as he moved up the Wealth Lighthouse. 
And these are all based on principles um, that you can really practice. And it's so much fun because when you know that you know the next step and it's absolutely clear on the map, then your job is just to do the work until you get there. You know, you stop listening to all the, the gurus that are that are teaching at, at you know, the wrong level and you just chop wood, carry water right where you are. So enjoy the units. Units number uh, four and five are, are really about this conversation. So if you've already done units number one, two, and three, jump into four and five. Just dip your toe in the water if you want to go further. Let, let's let's do a flow consult. And uh, that's all I have for today. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that's good stuff, Artemis. And and uh, Dana was asking, um, she says, I know the labels for David and I as a team. I don't understand how to take advantage of them. Where do I find that? And so I promised her that we would have a call um, just about more into what you're talking about right there. Like, how do you take advantage of this? How do you know where you are and all this? Because a lot of this is new information for many of you. So, but you're a master at this, Artemis. So we're so happy. Um, I was going to say we're lucky to have you, but we're blessed to have you uh, in our family. Um, okay. So with that, um, we are, hey, we're, man, isn't it funny how I can take a 20 minute story and make it an hour long? <laughs> I got to work on that, but I love you guys. I know many of you have uh, other places to be. We want to make sure, talk, just speaking on, because we talked about mentorship masters. If I see several of you have, have uh, messaged out to me about what is mentorship masters, reach out to Artemis if you want to know more about our real estate, becoming a real estate master. And that's really for people that say, man, I want to get triple the results in half the time by working directly with you or Artemis. So just reach out to Artemis privately about mentorship masters and how we can help you in that group to become a master real estate agent. Or if you know another real estate agent that you feel could really use our personal time and attention, uh, reach out to Artemis about that as well, or reach out to the mentorship masters member who shared this with you. Hey, we love you guys. Hope this has been very helpful. Um, you can unmute yourselves, say goodbye. I know y'all have things to do. What's up? Thank you. Bye everyone. Bye, everybody. Great to see you. Thank you. Bye. Bye, everyone. Love you, family. Thanks, everyone. Great information. Thank, Thank you, you, Nally. Thank you, Artemis. Thanks, guys. Lessons to both of you guys. You. Awesome information. Mm -hmm.